Have you guys ever had a problem with your arc like that being unstable or sputtering? Today, we're going to tear in this machine and show you the common fix for that. I'm Jesse McCollum, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Let's get started. So one of the most common questions we get from people that are new to TIG welding, is they get the machine all set up, they get ready to weld, and they hit the pedal, and they hear this buzzing and this little blue light from inside the machine, and they think there's something wrong. There is nothing wrong with the machine. That is perfectly normal. And what that is, that's your high frequency points gap activating. And that's how you get your high frequency start on Everlast TIG machines. Now, while that is normal, those points can come out of adjustment and they'll severely affect the performance of your machine. So today we're gonna show you how to tear this machine apart and adjust that points gap. So to start this process, we're gonna go ahead and turn the machine off. We're gonna unplug it and we're gonna wait 20 minutes for the capacitors inside the, the case to de-energize. All right, guys, we had a nice little 20 minute break. I gave it an extra five minutes just to be safe. Now the capacitors inside the machine are de-energized and it's safe to open this up. So I'm gonna start by taking the, the screws off the side panels, both sides, there's five screws each side. We're gonna take the back cover off and I'll show you how to pull this main cover back, up, and off the machine. All right, so the first step is to take off these five side panel screws. Now there's five on each side. We're gonna start over here. Now that we've got all 10 side panel screws out, we have four screws on the back. There's actually two screws on this bottom side. So we'll do these four first. We'll slide the machine just barely off the edge of the table and get those two bottom screws. We have two five millimeter Allen heads inside this handle. We take those two out and this back panel will come off. So now we got the back panel off. The last thing, we've got two more five millimeter Allen head screws up front. We undo those and this panel will come back and off. So let's get those out. So that inconsistent start was due to our points gap being too wide. The recommended gap is 30 thousandths of an inch to 45 thousandths of an inch. You can see here, I've got a 35 thousandths feeler gauge and the gap is way bigger than that. 35 thousandths is Everlast recommended gap for the points. So now I'm gonna show you how to adjust these points and bring them back into spec. To adjust the points in the machine, the first thing you're gonna to have to do is get a 12 millimeter open end wrench and loosen the lock nut. You can spin it out a little bit. And then you'll get a flat blade screwdriver Hold your lock nut in place and turn the point gap in and out. So now I'm going to insert my 35 thousandths feeler gauge and just barely tighten it up. So I righty tighty the points into my feeler gauge. That's a little tight, so I come out. So you want the, the gap just to barely drag on your feeler gauge. This is too tight where it's locked in. That'll be perfect right there. So I remove my feeler gauge. And you just need to snug this lock nut just a little bit. It doesn't need to be super tight. So now let's put the machine back together and let's try that arc start again. When you get your welder and you hit the pedal and you're not striking an arc, you're gonna hear that little buzz 
and see that blue light from inside the machine, it's not broken. Now, if you go to strike an arc, after you've been using the machine for a couple months and you're getting a really inconsistent start or it's kind of fluttering, it's probably a pretty good sign you need to check your points cap. Now that you know how to do it, you can get right back to work. I'm Jesse McCollum, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Remember, weld mean, weld green.